Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we are about to rank up a five star to rank five. It will be number 17. So let's take a look at my champions. Now I want to bring your attention to something. In the most recent update, they changed the sort order and it is a welcome change. You will notice that my top champions are already here. I used to have to change the sort all the time. Now this is the default. So let me filter out so that we only have five stars and not my six stars. And these are my current rank five, five stars. All right, and there we go. So now we've got some others. And who will I choose? Well, I'm not going to make you wait too long. My 17th rank five five star is going to be Annihilus. So let's take a look at him right quick. You can see his attributes here off to the left. Take a little bit of a look. Uh, we will do a closer look video on him afterwards. So look for that in another video. But for now, we're just looking through. I'm showing you guys the uh, synergies. We're not going to talk about them in this video. Uh, but we will talk about them in the closer look video. And here you can see signature ability and his other abilities as well. All right, and there we go. So now we're gonna upgrade him. And I want to point this out because I got some comments from some people, they were looking at this screen and if I use a gem, then they were asking what happened to the T2 alphas? Don't you need T2 alphas? Yes. You always need T2 alphas, and they're right here. It's just that I did not scroll if I was going to use a gem because it didn't really matter. And sometimes I just didn't scroll. All right, so as you can see, we are short some Cosmic Catalysts. All right, so what we're going to do is open up some crystals. So let's go ahead and open these up. Now, I have had to open up quite a few in the past to get the uh, ones that I want. So I don't have good feelings about this, let me tell you. But we're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to open them up uh, one at a time. And hopefully we will be able to get two cosmics out of this all right i've got 80 of them and we're not gonna spin them all out all right let's see first one is gonna be a mutant see mutant is the last one that i want i just ranked up my omega red to get rid of these in the overflow so it seems like mutant is the one they want to give me all right skill i would love to get all right science Science is not terrible. I'm not capped out on science, I don't believe. At least not yet. Uh, we'll take a look at my catalyst situation. But let's find out how many of these we're going to have to open up to get it. Oh, just over and again, mutant. And I'm probably going to end up having to either use the trade feature or rank up another mutant champion. All right, so let's go. See, all right, another uh, science. And I honestly don't remember how many of those uh, I have. All right, let's keep going. Now, my friend uh, Big Blue had to open up over 20 just to get one skill that he needed. All right, tech. I don't remember where I'm at on tech, but that's fine. We uh, have some tech champions we could rank up. But still, no skill and no... Look at this. 
more mutant. No skill and no cosmic. Those are two. Uh, skill, I have none. Zero. So I would love skill. And cosmic, we just need two. But we just keep getting mutant. Okay, we've got one cosmic. Beautiful. So now just one more. And we can go ahead and open up, uh, upgrade our Annihilus. Look at them, both of those. Come on, come back around. All right, good. So we actually opened up eight of these. So not terrible, not terrible. Let's take a look real quick before we upgrade him and see what my catalyst situation is looking like. All right, so see Cosmic, I got just enough for that. All right, Mutant, we're not capped out yet, but that's because I have the sigil. Science, we are capped out. See, Mystic, not capped out. Of course, Skill, zero. Tech, we are capped out. Uh, let's take a look at the overflow, see if there's anyone in here. Uh, as you can see, I have T2 Alphas in my overflow and one tech. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, so let's get going on this upgrade here. Okay, did I pass you already? All right, let's do that. There you are. And let's get that upgrade going. Now, as you can see, we do need T2 alphas as well. All right. So here we go. And Annihilus is now my 17th rank five, five star. And really, I use him mainly... Uh, on defense, but he's not bad offensively, and he did get a recent buff. So we'll take a look at that uh, as well, and we will have some gameplay on him. He's not bad. Um, he is actually a little fun to fight with, and he does have his uses. Uh, those armor breaks that he can place on his opponents definitely have uses uh, Mysterio, anyone that is susceptible, if they have their abilities shut down, like Mysterio or Ghost, he actually does pretty well. All right. You had to wait a little bit for that. Takes a lot of ISO, but I have a lot of ISO. So not a bad deal there. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at him. And uh, in the Closer Look video, we will definitely go into his abilities and take a look at uh, what changed on him and all of that. But in this video, we just wanted to upgrade him and then show you guys a little gameplay on him. Now that he is already ranked up, let's take a look at his attributes. So in case you wanted to compare, we watched, uh, we looked at his attributes earlier uh, in the video before ranking him up. So you can do a comparison here, look at his hero rating change, his health, and you can look at any of these attributes that has changed as well. All right, so that's it for this portion. Now, before we show a little gameplay, I wanted to just tell you very briefly what goes into my choices sometimes. First of all, he's fun. Um, he's fun to fight offensively with. He'll make a stronger defender at rank five, but also this, a level up event is going on right now and cosmic advancement. So what I do is I try to double dip and I'm like, what cosmic would I want to rank up? Well, I already use a nihilist as a defender in war. So I was leaning towards him anyway. Uh, I also could have taken up and I still may do that. Uh, take up a cosmic to rank three, but most likely since I've already gotten all of the advancement done, all the milestones, I'll just wait and see if the next advancement, uh, the next event is an advancement, and then I will choose my next level up according to that. 
but I want to take up at least one of my five stars to rank three during a level up. I try to do that every level up, at least one. So by taking Annihilus to rank five, I didn't use up my T4 basics. So I actually have enough to take someone else up uh, to rank three. And with that tech in my overflow, maybe I'll choose a tech champion to take up, or I might take someone else up. All right, so anyway, let's get to that gameplay. All right, we're headed into Realm of Legends to beat up on Winter Soldier. As you can see, I chose to go in with just Annihilus. I wanted you guys to see what he could do without any synergies available to him. Now I am running suicides, so keep that in mind as you look at his damage. He's not necessarily a great uh, suicide friendly champion. In fact, he is not suicide friendly. Uh, you can see the poison and the bleed. He's not poison or bleed immune. Uh, we'll go into it a little more detail in the closer look video. But he has other immunities, but not poison and bleed. Also, to get the most damage out of him, as you will see in that other video, you're going to want to fire off your specials pretty frequently. Special 1 and Special 2, specifically. So, not suicide friendly, but you can at least see the damage uh, he's capable of not the most damage he's capable of since I'm not trying to do that but you can see that he's no slouch when it comes to the uh, damage but you're not going to want to use him in most cases there are way better options for most cases he is still going to be regulated to the or relegated yeah, regulated relegated to uh, the defense alliance ward defense but as you can see he's putting in a little bit of work uh, I'm not playing him the way he should be played for most damage also I don't have any synergies and the synergies that you'll want to use with him are synergies that increase his fury potency um, buff duration that sort of thing uh, they help him out a lot but other than that he's pretty straightforward uh, he just recently got a buff the buff added more duration to his furies all right you see he's got some furies up there they expired but I can tell you just briefly, like I said, we'll go into it a little bit more, but uh, just briefly, what you want to do with him, uh, you want to build up those stifles, okay? You build up the stifles, you see that I'm spamming that special one because the special one pauses the stifles, so that gives you more time. Now, when a soldier especially likes to throw specials when you have uh, buffs or if you have something timing down on him to eat up that timer so he makes it even more difficult uh, to do this but you want to fire your special one uh, frequently to pause the stifles and then when you get I believe it's 12 which is max you fire that special 2 off you see he fired his special so that my stifle started uh, falling off but once you fire that special 2 all the stifles are converted to furies and then you go to town all right but we're gonna finish this video and this fight with a special two so that's gonna do it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video click like if you enjoyed the video uh, leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video y'all see that one percent hey but in any case if you haven't subscribed to me feel free to give me a subscription as well. And you all have a blessed day.